Hi, Neha. Good, how are you? She has been a menstrual educator for the last seven years. I think her uh, internet connection is... Hello? Yeah. Your connection seems to be... Okay, fine. So she's here again. Yeah. So uh, Rajasi, basically, uh, she is a menstrual educator... Hi, I will just increase the volume. Yeah. Uh, I hope I'm audible and there's no echo. I hope. No, no, no. There's no echo. You are properly audible. How is my voice? Is it properly audible or? Yeah, it's. Yes, yes, it's perfect. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, how are you? Yeah, fine. <laughs> uh, better than what I was one hour before. <laughs> okay, okay. That's very nice to hear. That's very nice to hear. Yeah, yeah. So, so we'll just wait for a, a few more to join. Um, so how is the uh, COVID-related relief work and all going these days? Um, as in, is uh, actually, I'm not very much involved right now. Earlier, I used to coordinate for some people. But mm -hmm. uh, now I'm not. Um, actually, I was out of Bombay also for some time. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so I helped a couple of people in doing relief work. But... Uh, Actually, it's not um, like even if like the shops are opening and everything is uh, resuming, but still the need for relief is still there because uh, not every uh, office has resumed and uh, still a lot of people are working in online mode. So the, uh, you know, the cleaning staff and the other people are still jobless. So, yeah. yeah. Correct. All right. Yeah. So um, I think let's do one thing. Let us let us start. Uh, we will definitely sure. um, we will definitely have a, a lot of people joining more. So uh, yes, yes. what I'll do is first I'll like officially uh, um, welcome you and uh, uh, give a small uh, introduction about you. So uh, uh, friends, we have uh, Rajasi Kulkarni Divakar with us. So she is one first, a very dear friend of mine, and I'm really happy to have you today. Uh, she has been a menstrual educator for the last seven years. I think her uh, internet connection is... Hello? Yeah. Your connection seems to be... Okay, fine. So she's here again. Yeah. So uh, Rajasi, basically, uh, she is a menstrual educator for the past uh, seven years, so more than seven years now. Uh, uh, specifically, she has, she has very... Um, uh, a lot of affinity towards topics like early childhood education, gender roles, uh, body image and uh, tackling taboos around menstrual practices uh, in various parts of India. Uh, she's based out of Mumbai, but she's also worked in a lot of uh, rural areas or not reachable areas of Chhattisgarh uh, specifically and a lot of other areas uh, in the country. Uh, she works in tandem with a lot of uh, NGOs in this space. And she's also uh, uh, one of the founders of the NGO called Bleed Red Go Green. So... Uh, so thank you so much, Ratsi, for uh, joining us today. Uh, so Ratsi, let us start with this. Uh, we got a lot of questions from uh, women around this conversation today. Uh, one of the main uh, uh, questions which we were asked is, um, a lot of women these days are using the uh, regular sanitary napkins, the commercially available disposable sanitary napkins. And uh, they are wanting to switch to a sustainable option. So, uh, so they are wanting to switch to a cloth pad. So, how would you suggest people should take this switch, or how they should go around this switch? Uh, what are the steps you suggest they should follow? Uh, so, thank you so much, Sujata, for uh, asking me to join. Uh, and uh, I wanted to say this uh, just when I joined. You look really cute in the haircut. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so I have been doing a couple of posts on this and um, I get this question asked just like you also get this question. 
so i would say a very simple approach to going this uh, going to this is like taking your own time in figuring out like whether you are comfortable using a cloth pad or a menstrual cup uh, or a period panty like what what you want to like try and i am using the word try because give it a try before uh, before making the full switch like um, uh, like i remember uh, my own story also is like that like um, i tried with making my own cloth pads but um, uh, when i was uh, like cloth pads was very easy for me to switch to because i had used uh, cloth in my past life, like uh, when i was a teenager uh, but with cups it was not the same because it had it was a very different experience for me so what i used to do is i used to combine it with um, like i remember uh, even if i was using a cloth pad uh, i was not really sure with the cup like i thought like whether it will leak or what will happen so i used to wear cups on some days some days i used to wear a cloth pad and i even used a combination of disposable pad and a cup sometimes like like in the very beginning uh, till i became confident that the cup is not leaking and um, i can wear it for long time in my office so um, so i think that is something we we um, like any person who wants to try they can work on this like um, they can use a disposable pad or a cloth pad as a backup if they want to try a cup uh, till they are confident uh, so best uh, i always uh, say this to people is like uh, what you can do is like uh, till you get confidence always try these reusable products when you are at home like it could be at night could be uh, like you are going to the office whole day uh, use a disposable product that's fine and then at night once you are home uh, either you can try a cup or a cloth pad so that could be one way or um, or you can just wear it for few hours um, and uh, carry your disposable pad with you or tampon whatever you are comfortable so um, use it in a combination and not really pressurize yourself like you know i want to get it right in the first cycle itself yes, so exactly. um, Uh, so you may see people uh, posting like really nice pictures of they holding a cup or a cloth pad but um, uh, you know all the celebrities who endorse them they may or may not have used it so don't really go by the pictures and um, not everyone figures it out in the first go very few people are lucky that uh, they are very comfortable with the cup or cloth pad in the at the very first time so uh, don't pressurize yourself take it slow take 3 months to get used to it use it for few hours in the beginning or just for a like cloth pads you can uh, try on a third or fourth day whatever like light, light flow day mm-hmm. try it then and um, uh, get comfortable with the idea uh, see how for how long you can wear it so uh, you can figure out that for yourself um, and same with the cup like cup also like uh, if you feel that you're mm, second day is very heavy then don't try it on a second day like um, try it on a first day or try it on a third day when you are less irritated when you are relaxed so whatever that suits you uh, choose your own pace to um, try these products so uh, we are really in no hurry actually <laughs> yeah yeah i completely agree because uh, i remember uh, my journey i uh, since i am a marketing professional i used to travel a lot so there was a lot of inhibition to switch to a uh this uh, reusable product because how can i wash where will i change there's no proper water and sanitation facilities in the country for, for local use so that was one of my main concerns so what i did is i used to as you said i used to try it at uh, night and or in the low flow days i got very comfortable with cloth and now even on the highest flow days i use the cloth only so that is how my journey started some women uh um, they their period days are not very consistent so uh, even before the first day they it's it's a run time of 2 3 days before they actually actually the period start so those days uh, normally what i have observed is women try the cloth pads uh because that's you know it's it's low cost first you don't have to uh, throw away a, a totally unused cloth uh, unused pad yeah and, yeah uh, absolutely <laughs> that is one of the biggest benefits uh, especially on the last you feel very bad and are there is no drop of blood and i have to <laughs> so that is one of the very big uh, concerns but yeah women have tried it during the um, spotting days and they have been comfortable uh, using it with cups actually yeah yeah 
with cups actually there is uh, there is one thing which i've seen is uh, a lot of girls try uh, off the period days or uh, mm-hmm. ha so that uh, normally i what i feel is that might hamper their first experience because because of low lubrication what would be your suggestion yeah. on on that uh, uh i would suggest like if you want to give it a dry run uh use a jelly water based jelly uh yeah. there's one jelly that is available in the medical stores it's called ky jelly and i think there are many more such water based uh, lubricants available so if you at all want to try it on other days uh use a jelly but uh, i would not recommend it because as you said that some may not uh, like the experience because uh, you have to uh, depend on the um, you know artificial uh, lubricant but in the period days your vagina itself is lubricated because of the uh, your flow so you don't need an extra lubricant during period so wearing cups become um, like much easier on those days so but um, it's totally your choice and um, i think i you should try it on a low flow day i i personally feel like uh, like dry uh, like the first try maybe you want to give uh, like when you have lesser cramps um, on a day on any day when you are feeling that okay now i should give it a try and now i'm less irritated mm-hmm. uh, give it a try on that time instead of uh, doing it on a uh, time when you don't have period okay 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 all right so uh, this uh, w- i have also uh, uh, spoken to a lot of women who suggest that they uh, try the menstrual cover they use the menstrual cup on the first two three days heavy heavy flow days and uh, then on the last two days the flow is also low and they don't want to go through that entire process of inserting they just want to take rest so they use a cloth pad so uh, that is also an approach which i have heard uh, women yeah, take it's it's a combination yeah, of yeah. products in a yes yes yeah absolutely it's your body and you can decide what you want to try and not try like mm-hmm. yeah uh, as so for me also um, uh, i used cup on first for, uh, not a, i used a cup on the first day my first day is not that uh, painful my second day is very painful so second day i may or may not use cup uh, it totally depends on my mood but uh, first day i can use a cup third day i can use a cup but the fourth day i literally have any like very less bleeding so then i use a cloth pad like and even like other times uh, when i feel like uh, i am wearing cup for few hours and then later i want to use a cloth pad so uh, you can all do the combinations whatever you feel like and it's totally okay if you don't want to try cup at all like you can just use a cloth pad or you can just use a cup whatever that suits you yeah yeah so this also uh, uh, comes as a lot of peer pressure because we see uh, menstrual cups you know trending as uh, coming across as a very trendy uh, product that okay if you're not using a cup you're not a modern uh, uh, woman who is you know, <laughs> up, with the, up with the latest trends but i also know and i think this must be the case with 80% of women they have bought the cup and it's lying then in the cupboard for like 3 4 months 6 months before they even actually try it for the first time so um, uh, i'm sure you must be having a similar experience or feedback from uh, the women you have yes yes uh, it does happen uh, for me also like i brought it i used it for the first time and i couldn't remove it uh, this was back in 2014 so uh, i was in my bathroom and i couldn't remove it and my friends were outside and they were like rajesh see what happened you're not saying anything what is happening so <laughs> that was really hilarious situation that had happened then uh, i used to live with a couple of friends then so uh, before marriage so um, this does happen and um, uh, because of the peer pressure what happens is uh, that uh, some people you know they are not prepared to try it but they will just try it because their friends have asked them to try um, sometimes it works in a very nice way but sometimes it does not work for some people so um, yeah so that's what uh, i feel like take your own time don't succumb to that pressure and um, yeah and a lot of people buy it and keep it because uh, a they have a uh, fear of insertion um some people are not aware that uh, you know they have three openings down there so exactly kis opening mein jayega they are not very um, sure about it 
uh, and uh, and i don't blame them because uh, uh, we are never been told like you know we have three separate openings for three different functions and it goes in the middle hole actually so um, so we don't know like how to get it inside and how to remove so my unmarried friends always make fun uh, saying that ha they are like you are married if your cup gets stuck your husband will remove it for you we live on our own he is going to remove it for us <laughs> so this is fun <laughs> funny but i uh, but there is lot of fear attached that what if it gets stuck inside and so actually what i feel is like um, take your own time understand in your own body and before you buy the cup i would say um, uh, read about um, read about how people have worn it and uh, what are the techniques that could be used so um, like or or just after buying it uh, what happens is people buy it and uh, when this all these doubts are not clear and they give it a go uh, to the cup so if this fears are not addressed uh, then what happens is people may not uh, want to try the cup because these fears these doubts are not answered by uh, any expert or or a friend uh, who recommended it to them so uh, once they are answered then people feel confident like okay i can give it a try so uh, then um, and also like uh, i have seen like people asking like so many questions so many questions but i think it's completely okay to have those questions and uh, bombard someone with those questions because um, that is needed because um, then only you can make the switch successfully uh, otherwise if you have all the questions like uh, it's just like uh, wearing a cup is like uh, you know trying a new pair of shoes or or a jeans and uh, like jeans i would say especially not shoes so uh, because uh, if you are um, if you are someone who have never worn jeans and you want to try those jeans but you are not sure if your family will like it or if it will look good on you if you have all these questions you will not wear it so same is with a cup like uh, if you have all the questions about it so even if you have brought it like for 1000 rupees but then your questions are not uh, addressed before that so that is something uh, i think we edu- we as educators or peers should work on like uh, like when you are uh, recommend someone to try a reusable product we should also offer them a uh, different kind of help that support, they need uh, some support is is essential because uh, even i have uh, uh, i have observed that a lot of uh, women because they are going to try it for the first time they go for the cheapest cup that is available and uh, yeah. sometimes the experience is not so good uh, they don't know where to get the all the questions answered and then that leads to a bad experience and the entire cup experience goes haywire so uh, so, I, so this is something that even i feel that it's important that we choose uh, a cup not only from from the the way it looks or uh, on the camera or on the you know on the phone or the laptop but it is also essential that we do a little research about the brand and uh, uh, try and see where the brand is uh, based out of do they offer any support do they have any uh, support system in place like uh, there are instagram pages there are facebook pages there are a lot of groups like rancy uh, like yeah. a part of a, a facebook a lot of facebook groups where you can find uh, uh, complete support uh, in terms of how to use yeah, yeah. start somewhere in between so i think yes it's yes essential for us to do a little bit of research also on these aspects uh, along with the looking at the videos how to insert and uh, how to uh, take right it. right yes yes absolutely you need that community you need that support system uh, to try so uh, rachi let me talk about uh, sustainable menstrual options it's a, it is always about cloth pads or period panties or uh, cups so i want to also discuss a little about these upcoming uh, disposable pads which talk about uh, biodegradability so what would you like to uh, tell our uh, viewers today about it as in, in terms of the biodegradability uh how are they uh, reading because i know you do a lot of work and especially research work on the, this topic you've tried a lot of pads so what would you suggest uh so um a couple of years ago like um, i think in 2018 um we um so i'm part of a group called uh, a campaign called green the red we are a pan pan india campaign 
so uh, a pan uh, so this uh, volunteers of green the red we did a small research two years ago that uh, we uh, saw all the brands that are available on um, as biodegradable uh, mm-hmm. or compostable and uh, we brought a couple of them like some we got as samples some we uh, purchased and uh, we brought them like uh, we tried them using on our cycle and we also uh, checked if it uh, like what happens to the bag after it is either composted or buried so what happens to it and i think we also did, uh, yeah and i also did a burning test of some bags yes. so uh, so uh, in this whole um, study of these different products we found like very few of them are actually um, biodegradable or compostable mm-hmm. so uh, not all of them were biodegradable so that is one thing and um, there is i think uh, a lot of gray area when it comes to these uh, disposable biodegradable pads and uh, um, there is not enough material on it uh, uh, in india right now about like um, and there are no guidelines also in place about it uh, actually there are no guidelines about reusables also yeah, so yeah. that's why you will see the china cheapies and uh, you will see those uh, cheap quality cups coming so um that's the scary part actually that there are no regulations on uh, something that we use it on our private parts yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah so biodegradable pads i think it's a very personal choice to try them or not i personally don't recommend them because um uh, a um, very few of them are actually they actually live up to the name that is one thing and um you will still see like they though they are biodegradable if they look super white then they could be bleached so then it just takes the cause like uh, then they are not really natural is what i feel like even if they have used corn starch or something something but if they look like super white then definitely they are bleached and they may uh, give you rashes like other disposable pads so that is the one issue with biodegradable pads uh, and the thing with biodegradable pads is uh, they have to have a certain thickness they have to have a certain composition so that uh, the pad sticks uh, sticks nicely to your panty and um, it has a kind of absorbency that is um, needed to wear for 6 hours so um, you know uh, balancing all this out uh, using the natural materials is actually um is actually a very difficult task is that what i felt because i spoke with some manufacturers and it's really a difficult task like maintain that absorbency level also keep it natural and uh, also have a glue and so many things so it's actually very difficult so you will find really less uh, brands which are trustworthy is uh, what i have observed yeah yeah correct so and from personal experience uh, when we uh, which is a good thing i would say uh, that actually goes to show the uh, some care that they are taking about the ingredients is uh, when whenever i have tried uh, these brands the biodegradable uh, brands uh, they the absorbency uh, is not that high and sometimes the pads get crumpled which is a good thing because if it is cotton yeah yeah exactly exactly, exactly. so that yeah actually, yeah yeah so that actually puts off a lot of women and they come back that okay i don't like this pad because it is not absorbing that much mm. it is getting crumpled it doesn't stick properly but then i would like to like mention here that if the pad is actually uh, the the less plastic or less uh, plastic i would say the less plastic a pad contains the more it will show all these features because then you can be sure that it actually has more cotton i would not say it's yeah, yeah. plastic i would not say zero plastic there is at least a layer of bioplastic because unless and until that is there there won't be a leak proof effect yes yes so uh, as less plastic as possible is better even if you have to go for a disposable pad because of whatever reasons uh, try to choose a pad which has as less plastic as possible and and it will absorb less because if it has to absorb more and more then then again there is a lot of other aspects and a lot of other yes. ingredients that get into place as you were saying that it is difficult to uh, manufacture something which absorbs for 6 hours and does uh, does not leak and all and still remain intact uh, in its place yeah, yeah. if you not using plastic so this is very essential yeah. part because uh, i can understand disposable pads is something that a lot of women cannot do away uh, 
it it feels essential at times and you just don't have the bandwidth to deal with reusables at times so even if you want to choose a product if you want to choose a pad just look out for the uh, for the for whatever the claims are look out for how what is the uh, look and feel of the product if it is sheer white then yeah that is an indication that uh, there might be bleach and uh, it it has been bleached uh, apart from that um, there is uh, also this uh, question that i had about uh, i keep reading this a lot and this is the last question that we'll take up is that uh, i have read that whenever women start using reusable products over a period of time let's say a year or two year then all uh, women start uh, dealing with their periods in a different way or the relationship of the individual of the woman with her periods with her body uh, changes is what i personally have observed and i've read it uh, i would i would love want to hear your thoughts on that how has been uh, you know that for you yes yeah, yeah. uh, so uh, absolutely i would say that i would have uh, uh, you know never actually uh, talked about this reusable product if i would have never tried it uh, in the first place so um, i for me like um uh, using reusing things was where um the like cloth pads or cup is like really close to my heart because the thing is because of the cup i understood like how exactly my vagina is and uh, uh, like the unnecessary fears i had about it it just went away so that is one thing and uh, another thing with um, you know using any reusable like it could be a cloth pad or a cup um you really understand what your body is and uh, you kind of pick signs about it yeah. so um, so like if you know that your cup is going to leak after 6 hours or or 4 hours whatever uh, you are aware about, your body is aware that uh, you have to change it in 6 hours because it's going to leak after 6 hours but with disposables it's not like that you use it for a really long time because you know it's going to absorb it and uh, it is not always a healthy practice to do that Okay. so uh, with reusables you know that it's going to leak after 6 hours or something uh, though it will uh, like cups may leak once they are full but uh, with cloth pads if it has a uh, leak proof layer it may or may not leak so um, you know you are kind of aware like when to do and you uh, get into these healthy practices and another thing is like uh, because of uh, this uh, these products i started tracking my periods that is like the biggest benefit i personally see um which i was not tracking before so i have been tracking for 6 7 years now and um, yeah it's it's very great to track your periods and uh, have predictability like okay i'm going to get a period on you know certain date or certain week so uh, that kind of structures uh, your life a bit in a better way i feel and um, and yeah for me uh, all this tracking and all these different things uh, i got to like there are uh, times uh, like there are apps where you can put your weight and your waist measurement and everything whatever you feel like mm-hmm. so they ask you all these different things uh, so for me like because i was putting this um, my weight and everything on that um, app i uh, i was i came to know like when i was putting on weight and uh when uh when is the time when is the good time for um doing good exercise and different things so i i uh, i kind of uh, like um, have a very nice connection with my body now i feel uh, okay. like even if i am using reusable for past 6 7 years but um, with time it has evolved actually yeah. so yeah and a lot of people will feel the same <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, just to share my experience uh, as when i was when i started using reusables i could act the first thing that i could understand is that i don't bleed that much because with uh, disposable pads you feel that oh, there's a lot of blood coming out there's a lot of blood and you bleed so much <laughs> not the case which is not the case so that was the first thing i could also check out the changes in the color of the blood there are times when the you know different days of your cycle also you see different color so that is one thing that i could observe uh, of course the amount the volume uh, which um, uh, comes out that i could observe and uh, yes with the with the cup definitely it's about you understand the internal anatomy of what and where things fit and and you get to know that <laughs> don't fall out just like that 
and yeah 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 so just for the benefit of the viewers i would also want to share that uh, observing so as rachi was mentioning about tracking observing these changes in your uh, menstrual fluid uh, over a period of time and also checking on what is the color the volume of your menstrual fluid is very important because uh, and white discharge also and white discharge also so when you keep a track of your period uh, cycle of your entire menstrual cycle it's not just those five days but the entire cycle over a period of a month every single month over a period of time you get to you get into that connection which i was talking about and it is very essential because uh, a lot of research has been done to prove that uh, we say there are some vital signs to your body like temperature like you know so these things where where, where you know that your body is in a healthy state similarly for women uh, uh, your menstrual cycle the health of your menstrual cycle is one of the very vital uh, signs to actually suggest your health so it is not just related to periods and uh, there's a baby or a no baby but there is a lot to do um, uh, to your body and a lot of relation of your menstrual cycle with your body so it's a very important topic i think uh, uh, rajin menstrual cycle tracking is a subject that is uh, a different topic altogether and yeah yeah just on that uh, on the yeah yeah, yeah yes yes uh, yeah, yeah. so on this uh, uh, positive note um uh, let me just thank you rachi thank you very much for uh, joining us and giving us uh, time um we'll definitely stay connected and uh, i hope all of you liked uh, what we had to share and what we discussed today so we'll keep bringing you such uh, sessions uh, from our page uh, my agni um we also as we were discussing we also have a, a support helpline a period helpline wherein you can get in touch uh, to know more about our products or in general about any queries that you might have uh, thank you so much rachi for joining and uh, have yeah a- thank you for asking me to join today and um, i would like to tell viewers like um, uh, though this was like a live we did uh this live is going to get saved so if you feel that uh, this needs to reach other people please share this live with other people and uh, you can still ask your questions either in our dms or any of us or or on the or you can comment it um, on the video that will be saved yeah absolutely you can either uh, comment on the video that will be saved or we have a post on our page you can post on that page and uh, i will make sure that either our team or axi uh we'll definitely answer those uh, questions okay so sure. thank you so much uh, have you, have a very uh, good uh, evening and uh, take care bye 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 bye